Hey guys, Dark Cycle and FPV, and today is Friday, what is that, February 25th. Okay, so something new that we're gonna be starting on Fridays, it's gonna be called Frame It Friday, and that's actually gonna be my day to do all my framing work. We've had so many more orders coming in, you know, we've obviously um, uh, put some information out there about our new, you know, not our new, but our uh, uh, limited lifetime warranty on our frames. Um, we've had that actually for quite a while, but really haven't focused on mentioning it much, and I decided to go ahead and start doing that so we can really show how much we stand behind the work. Uh, I, I stand behind the work that I do. Um, and uh, on top of that, I thought, you know what's cool is, we're gonna use Fridays as our framing days. That means that I'll be doing most of my CNC work on Fridays, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna most of the time I'm gonna start, to, sorry, I'm gonna check my watch. I've got a sick kid. I'm just keeping track of, make sure he's all right. Um, so most of this will actually start being live, uh, but we're not set up for that yet because I want to put, we're going to have cameras throughout the entire facility and it's kind of going to be like whatever happens, happens. So if there's an argument, argument. If our food catches on fire, you're going to see it. Uh, but until we get to that point, hopefully that'll be by next week, it's going to be Frame It Fridays and I'm going to try to do all, like I said, do all my frame cuts and these are going to be for our customers, right? So uh, if you have a frame coming from me, um, you're most likely going to find it on the Friday and then there will be a website, a page on our website where you can click it and see if your frame is actually up to be cut that day. All right, so consider Friday is gonna be the days. Uh, if we if that doesn't give us enough time to cut and, and sand and everything, then that's fine, we'll deal with it. Maybe we'll have to do two days, but just to make it catchy. So um, we're gonna do Frame It Fridays and then we're gonna to start today. Uh, so what I'm gonna do right now is, I'm gonna, let me show you the setup I've got here. I'm gonna split screen this. Um, all right, so let's split screen this real quick. Okay, so here's me and then obviously here's me again on, on that side? Yeah, right there. Okay, so uh, what I've got in front of me here is I've got a sander here, the, our belt sander I'm gonna be using with 2000 grit. I've got a tub of soap and water right here. Uh, my alcohol wipes right here, which probably I'll move those because they're gonna get dirty. So we put them on this bench. Now on this bench over here, which you can't, well, I guess you can see that. Inside this is um, it are the frame parts that I'm gonna be sanding right now. Uh, and what you can see on this bench, I think you can see that. I'll hold this up. This is actually the entire cut. Uh, for some frames that we have that are ordered and um, so we're gonna be lining those up but I'm gonna do this first frame here so I need to get my gloves on and my uh, eye gear my protective eye gear on so I'm gonna do that real quickly hopefully you guys can watch this uh, you know I know some people have asked to see it and I I, I don't mind obviously doing this um, so hopefully you know some of you'll find it useful uh, and then some of you you know you'll see exactly what we're gonna do and I'll take you step by step so this is gonna be the Rapture 5 HD uh, and uh, Randall, this is yours. Uh, Randall actually ordered it, uh, I think, last week, but um, I was changing the carbon fiber out. Uh, and this, my poor Cyclone jacket, will now be covered in carbon fiber, some nastiness. Okay, so the process here is gonna be pretty simple. At least this is the way I do it. Um, and I will tell you that uh, it's not for everybody. I understand that, but this is the way I do it. This is, I love doing this, actually. This is the part of my job I really, really enjoy. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get a um, paper towel ready. Take these glasses off and put these ones on. A little bit more protection here. Uh, I cannot see at this point very well. Um, yeah, I'm not sure I really like that because now I really can't, I, I can see here. Um, now, you know what? I assume these glasses, I don't have any hard pieces that are gonna be flying here, so. I guess my glasses would probably offer pretty good protection. I need to do something about that, but anyway. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is this is a brand new, um, this is a brand new 2000 grit, so I'm gonna turn this on. Now it's gonna get loud, guys, so I apologize. I'll try to talk over the sound sometimes, but if you can't make out what I'm saying, I do apologize, but we're gonna do this, run this in two screens. All right, so that's about as loud as it's gonna get. I'm gonna tighten this just a little bit, and I will tell you that this will snap and scare the crap out of me, so just, that's what happens, okay? I'll try also to make sure that this stuff doesn't get on the cameras. Um, all right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some of this uh, compound here and just kind of get the sandpaper uh, a little wet here. Um, and so this is an oil mix. So I'm just gonna do that. And what it does is it, it not only helps the sanding process, but it's like wet sanding, but without, um, but I guess with thicker, um, what do you call it, like an oil. So the carbon fiber, dust will sit and not fly everywhere. Um, unfortunately, I will tell you this right now, usually I have a mask, I do not know where my masks are, uh, so I'm just gonna hold my breath. <laughs> We're gonna see. Oh, we'll see what happens. Um, but yes, uh, so please don't don't razz me about it. Uh, I'm very well knowledge on what happens with carbon fiber dust. But we try to keep this, and you'll see it here, it'll turn to a liquid. All right, so for Randall, here's what we're gonna do is, we're gonna start bringing the parts over, Okay, I'm 
I'm going to pull them out because I cannot. Once I start sanding, I cannot put my hand in this bin here, or else it'll get the the dirt, uh, the the sand, the, the carbon fiber will get into there, and I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to put this little towel right here, put these parts on here because I need this oil is my clean oil. It needs to stay that way for all the frames that I do. All right. So I'm going to pull these parts out, line them up here. All right, that's pretty much it. So here's how this is gonna work. <coughs> I'm gonna start with the arms first. So basically what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to sand this very carefully, sand it, flip it over, and do the other side. Okay, and then I'm gonna angle it so that we get rid of all the edges, any, any sharp or any hard edges we get rid of, and we do both sides just like that, okay? So do it just like this. All right, and then what I do is, I'll, now this is the part that I don't enjoy doing too much, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run my fingers around the edges. You can see what's coming off here, so this is the kind of stuff you don't wanna put back in the oil. But if there's a splinter, it's gonna go through this glove, and I'm gonna know very quickly. Uh, but this is how I like to do it. This is the way that works, so I'm just gonna go ahead, make sure we get it done. And then once this is done, and I'm, I'm happy with that piece. I'm gonna drop it in that soap water. I'm gonna go to the next one.
All right, so checking this last piece here. Um, this one looks fine. So now we've got all the pieces sitting in the water here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna basically come through here and I'm gonna start wiping up some of this. Obviously that, and this is where the alcohol wipes come in. I'll end up going over this, what I've done. I'll end up going over it with alcohol wipes. Uh, but as you can see, there's no dust flying off because the oil is holding onto it. But you can, I mean, you can get a look at this right here. And that's just where it was sitting on here. So this entire bench will be washed by the time, uh, right before I finish. Uh, but I've got more cuts to do. All right, so it's time to take the gloves off. All right. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to take this, uh, I'm going to take the bowl here with the, with the parts in it, right, as you guys can see. I think you can see that right there. Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna take that, and we're gonna go to the sink behind me over here, and I'm gonna wash those real quickly, and then we're gonna uh, make sure they're all clean and sanded and ready to go. Then we're gonna go ahead and use the um, punch machine over here and put in the, uh, the uh, what do you call those? The, oh my God. Um, the inserts, uh, I forgot, the press nuts. Put in the press nuts in, and then we're gonna assemble the frame. So give me a second, and I'll move the camera over, and we'll come back to, uh, to continue. The all right, guys, so I'm back now, and I'm getting ready to put the stuff in the sink here. Um, I'm only going to have one camera on this one, so let me show you where we're going to be going with this. It's going to be right there, okay? So you can see the sink here. It's a little dirty because we've had some other work going on. On this side of the sink, we have a strainer, all right, which we're going to be using a little bit. And in here, I've got a uh, small strip of, uh, what is that going to be, uh, 800 grit, I believe, sandpaper. That's what I've got in here. Uh, for this one, I'm not worried about, wearing, uh, not worried about uh, needing gloves, okay? So um, because every, every piece should be smooth, what I do need to do is grab... A little set of paper towels here and just so that you're aware my best friend in this is going to be uh, Dawn uh, so okay because this helps to really get the excess carbon fiber like the dust and the stuff off so here's what we do I'm gonna go ahead and run the water just a little bit and I'm just gonna mix these in here all right now if there is a splinter to be had it will be it will be stuck on me here so uh, and let me tell you sometimes it happens but I've been I've, I've really Got good at the, uh, uh, at the uh, sanding here and making sure that I get all the edges that need to be clean. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wash these and I'm going to put them in the strainer over here on the other side of the sink. All right, now the sandpaper is here in case I do feel something. Um, the sandpaper is here to just do some fine wet sanding. Okay, these are the arms and they're coming out good. Uh, this, this, what you can see here, this is the residue from what's on here. So you gotta understand that it may take one wash, two washes, three washes to get this stuff clean, uh, but uh, we're going to uh, at least go through it and you'll get an idea of what the next step is after this. Okay, so I'm checking these all the parts so far seem to be just fine. The edges, that is. I mean, my main focus is gonna be the edges here because that's the part you're gonna touch. Uh, you know, when, when you're putting the string together, you want to make sure the edges here are nice and sanded and smooth and are not going to give you splinters, they're not going to snag on anything. Um, all right, so far it looks good. Now, what you can see is if you look at this water, it was the water was soapy, now it's got this blackish. Uh, tint to it and that's because that's where the carbon fiber the residue is, is has been has come off and you can see my hands here so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to grab a little dawn here uh host this yeah there you go. i'm just going to try to get as much of this off my hands as i can and it comes off pretty easy so that shouldn't be an issue all right so that's off and now what we're going to do is we're going to dump this water here okay you can see the bowl is going to be a little dirty you get a paper towel Sometimes I'll use the shop towels. Uh, that'll be a little easier, uh, but I don't have any sitting here right now. But you can see how quickly this will come off because it's had that dog soap in it. So that's gonna be nice. And then I can go around the sink and actually go over this, but I'm gonna be using it so much today that cleaning, I'm only doing this as you can see. It, it can be cleaned up. Some areas are a little harder, but can be cleaned up. So now that that's done, here's our parts, right? That's for that one frame. What we wanna do now is we wanna take our paper towel we want to grab like an arm, for example, and we want to run it, okay? You see that there's still stuff on here. So we're going to basically go through with a towel and wipe these down as much as we can, okay? And put them back in this book, all right? So you're going to see residue coming off of most of these, all right? Like that.
Now, usually I will do a lot more pieces than this at one time uh, if I've got them all cut. And we have quite a few over here, probably a couple hundred pieces that I cut uh, pr prior to today. And I would normally be cleaning all of them at the same time and uh, having all these buckets are filled with soap and water for round two. But I want to show you guys pretty much just the process as it is. All right, so there we go. We only got a few pieces left here. Actually, I can close this. I don't. I thought I was going to rinse them under there, but I don't feel like doing that right now. All right. So get the last of these done, just like that. And then this last piece, which is the brace, or the bracket for the braces here. Okay or space or whatever you want to call it. All right, so there's our paper towel and it's got a lot of the residue off and some of it's on my hands here, that's fine. I'm not really worried about this. Now what we're gonna do is this is pretty much our last one here. So let me make sure I've got enough. All right, let's do that. Normally I'll have like a sponge or something, but for this one I'm just using my hands because I really want to feel the cut on here. There was a, a arm that has a, a few little ridges. I mean, they're gone as far as that goes, but there's a little bit of a, like a, a vibration in the cut and I can feel that with my fingers to make sure that you minimize it as much as possible. All right, we put those in there, turn the water off. <laughs> This water is freezing cold, so it's like my hands are just getting sore. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab another paper towel again. Right, I'm just going to randomly grab a piece out. Let's see where we're at. And we have no dirt. Okay, we have no, there's no black, there's no black carbon fiber residue, there's nothing. So these are now 100% clean. And the other thing that the paper towel does allow me to do is, it's very simple. Um, let me see if I can find a piece. I'll just drop that back in. Let me see if I can find a piece that has not been sanded. Um, okay, so I'm going to show you, this is for the uh, open racer, so we've, I've got a couple hundred arms that were ordered and I've got to get these ready to ship. Let me just show you the difference here. So here's an open racer arm, right? If I grab this paper towel and I pull it, it's going to be, it's going to be like, it's, it, there's going to be resistance as I pull it because it's slowly snagging on the, um, on the pieces. So I'm going to try to, I'm going to try very carefully to make sure I don't get a splinter, but I'm going to see if I can find some. So I don't know if you can see that. But uh, let me see if I can get this up there. So where's the camera on this phone? There we go. So there, somewhere on here, you can see these little white pieces, I hope. Uh, I, I can see them. I don't know if the camera's picking them up, but there's like some right here. That's the, that's the paper towel snag. So that's when you know that you have, you know, the pieces aren't smooth. I, I, I fear running my finger on it because I will get a splinter, but there is paper that's being, or it's part of this uh, paper towel. And you could maybe see more of it here. I don't know if that helps, but you can see some, I think you can see it, you get the idea. So this is what I do with the paper towels. The paper towel, we can spat, okay? The paper towel allows me to make sure that we are smooth too, because if I take one of the arms we have here, let me find one, it's freezing water. Okay, so let's just take this arm for example, right? If I run this across here, okay, I don't know how else to do this, let me see. Uh, if I put the paper towel on, well, it's gonna keep sliding off, just a point, okay? So um, if I put the paper towel on here, let's see if I can show you a different way. Sorry, I just wanna to try to demonstrate this, but so, you know, I, I was trying to show you that if it sits on here, it's gonna slide right off, right? I mean, there's nothing, there's absolutely nothing. And if I show you, you can see how clean this cut is, all right? And after sanding, I mean, it is, I know it's got to focus, but that cut is clean. You can, there's no layer showing. There's, there's, there's maybe a streak because it's wet, um, but there are absolutely, yeah, see the, the water, it takes a while to dry it when it gets in there, but uh, this cut is beautiful, all right? I mean, I'm just telling you, this is a very, this is a cut I'm very happy with. Um, and as you can see, there's no, there's no black uh, carbon fiber coming off. This is clean. So if I put this paper towel on here where it's dry, let me just dry this out. 
and I do like this, it's gonna fall anyway. There it goes, it just falls, right? But if I grab that arm and I just put it back, I don't know if it's gonna do it now, but you'll get the idea is if I, if I, I'm trying to make sure that it doesn't, I can find places, ah, maybe not, maybe not on here. I could feel it, I just don't wanna get a splinter, but I can show you, I can hold it at this angle here, uh, it's gonna fall, but it sits at an angle where it, it, it it is gonna snag. Basically the point is, is it's snagging, whereas on here, no matter what I do, this thing, it just flies off, it flies off very quick. So anyways, the point being is that you can, you can definitely feel a difference here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these back in the strainer, okay? And we're gonna test the next pieces to make sure everything comes out uh, clean, and it is. So these are good. And you can see, if I run this, I mean, it's, it's looking great, okay? So these pieces are gonna be good. So what I'm gonna do here is, instead of doing it one by one, I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna dump it all in here, okay? Because we know that it's good. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wash them, get, get all the soap off of them. And like I said, usually you have more than this in this thing, but I wanted to demonstrate this and also give, you know, let Randall see his parts properly and everything. So we're gonna rinse those, rinse these, rinse all of this. Rinse them all, just like that. Back in. And then, usually I'll use a microfiber towel. I do not have one here right now because they're all being washed, but I'm just gonna go through and dry these off. And uh, I will use an air compressor to blow out the water in the holes most of the time. But the next thing that we need to do here is we need to get the uh, press nuts put in. So let me set this one aside and I'll get these all dry. You guys are not gonna make you watch me dry these, but what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take this over to the press and we're gonna put the press nuts in, one, two, three, four, and then we'll assemble the frame. So I'll see you guys. All right guys, so now that we've done, we've washed them and we've dried them, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put the press nuts inside the, the base plate here. So I'm gonna switch cameras real quickly. We're gonna go right here, so there's, we're gonna use our press here. And so we've got our rubber piece right here to make sure that we don't damage this carbon fiber. <clears throat> and so here's our base plate right here, and here are the press nuts that we're gonna be using. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it in there. I'm gonna take this bar here, um, and this is basically gonna give me a good amount of leverage. So I'm just gonna put this down, like right here, put this bar on. I'm just gonna put my body weight into it. There we go. There's one. All right. So you can see it's in there. It's all the way in. And we're gonna go to number two here. And I always tend to drop these, so let me grab it again. All right. So put this one in. Kind of try to get it to sit a little bit. Bring this over. Extension on here. Okay, so we've got that one in now. We're gonna have the two front ones in. We're gonna go to the third one here. All right. See if that's in. And then we'll do the fourth. which does it there. So now what we've got is, oops, let me put this one back on. Hold on a second. Let me put this one back on right here. All right, so now we've got all four of them on. They're all on well, they're not going anywhere. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna, we're gonna assemble the frame. So let me show you, sorry. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this frame now and we're gonna head on over to the uh, bench here. We're gonna assemble the whole thing and I'll show you exactly what it looks like at the end. All right guys, now that we're done, everything's been sanded, uh, washed and dried and ready to go, um, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna assemble this. So let me do a picture. Let's see if we can get this going. Here we go. And we're gonna start with, we'll start with the base here and the arrows here will definitely point you which way is front. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay it out just like this. <clears throat> and we're gonna start with the arms and we're gonna start with the, um, with the bumper here, the, the reinforcement for the front. So let's go ahead and grab the arms. And as you recall, maybe in the other videos, 
all our screws, I color code all of them, which means I color them once they arrive. We get them to maybe 10, 20,000 screws at a time per size. And so I'll lay them out into boxes and color them so that uh, you can see here like 14 millimeters green, 10 millimeters blue, 16 millimeters, uh, like a yellowish color. That way, if they should all fall on the floor and they're very close in size, I can separate them. I know how to, you know, I can know how to separate them and how to actually measure them all. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with front here. So I'm gonna go ahead and line the arm up here and I'm gonna go ahead and grab this, um, where'd it go? Uh, this one right here, yep, yeah, bumper here. I'm gonna put that in. And we're gonna do the, um, we're gonna do the uh, press nut section first. So let's go ahead and run the screw through there. And through here, and through here. Okay, tighten it just a little bit, but not too much there. All right, now we'll do the next arm. Go ahead and pop that in right there. Line that up. And don't worry, like the press nut is, is if the press nut pushes out, that's fine. It's not, it's not there for that reason. It'll, when you tighten it back down, it'll re-grip, okay? So there are times where um, I have put them on the, uh, the press and pressed them down, and then for whatever reason, as I'm screwing something in, I push the screw and it pops out. It happens, it's not a major issue at all because once it happens, what happens is once you grip it, it's got the teeth and as you tighten that screw, it'll come back down. I used to do the press nuts by sending a very powerful drill uh, or a, a, basically a screwdriver with one of these ends uh, and then just really cranking it hard into the um, material. I don't like doing that anymore. I like going this method as well, but uh, this method instead where I use the press. But like I said, if it does happen to, uh, come out it's not that has no bearing on the quality of the or the effectiveness of the press nut at all it's just a matter of um, getting it back into the material when you screw them when you put the screw in it it'll press it it'll bring it back in and have those teeth uh, snap so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and send the 16 millimeter 16 millimeter yellow now uh, screw up <clears throat> just like this and that's where our uh, standoff will go so we're gonna put our first standoff right here okay all right, now let's do the next one. There we go. All right, um, the next thing we're gonna do is we'll go to the back bumper here like this, all right? And we will start with the, again, the 14 millimeter green screws. So I believe I should have two left unless I dropped one on the floor. So I'll put it in through here, put it in through the arm, get to the press nut here on this side. And then I just hold it like that. And then I'll go ahead and tighten it in. Okay. And I'll bring this back around. Get the next arm ready. Just like that. Now where is my... Okay, now I'll just kind of line them up there, and you can get the 16 mil M3 in. I'll loosen this just a bit so I get a little bit more movement. There we go. Okay, let me do the other one here. And we'll put those standoffs on. Okay, so the last <clears throat> bit is gonna to be to put the uh, brace on and then line up the braces. So you have the long braces and the short braces. The long braces go to the back, the short braces go to the front. So we'll start with the long brace first and we're gonna use the 16 mil screws for those as well. So let me just do that. Send that through right here. And then send it through like this. And I'll put the standoff right here. Right, and then, like I said in the past, for, for the purpose of showing you guys, I'm just gonna use a 10 millimeter screw 
and a, and a nylon uh, nut here to just fasten it down, nylon fastener to just fasten it down. So it's, it keeps that brace in place so I can show you what it should look like. And now we'll do the next one. So let's do the next one here. Okay, and then we'll do the front. And then the last but not least will be the top plate. Okay, let's get that ready. Excellent, and there we go. So now once it's all done and assembled and everything's good to go, and as you can see this one, I mean, it's, it's clean. I mean, this thing is ready to go. Uh, if you wanna get it ready for shipping or what have you, I, I suppose what we could do is most likely just, um, if we wanted to fold it down, I guess, I'm trying to think of the best way to probably do that. So let me see, if I was to take this one out, let's see, and I was to take, Actually, I would leave this in because what doesn't usually, what's not gonna come with it is this screw that's here just for show. So if I take this out, all right. Okay. So I could easily either fold the arms down like this, which actually fits pretty nicely for packing. I think this would be a great idea. And then I could just, just basically throw this up in here without tightening it. That way I don't compress the carbon fiber, but I could sit here and just put it like that. And then we'll take this one out. And this is strictly for packing purposes because I like to ship frames as assembled, whoops, as possible. So put these here, bring this down. screw out here, bring that arm down, put it back. All right. And then we are going to do the same thing here. Let's go ahead and move this. Let's see what best works here. I'm curious to see how this is gonna go. So this is gonna come out. we could oh I don't know we'll figure that out because I guess we could put it like that that would work put this here I mean you could put these any way you want I'm just gonna I'll space this one up 
I don't think it'll sit better if it goes, oh yeah, yeah, well no, keep it like that. So we'll tighten these a little bit so they don't move, tighten this one, and then just tighten these a little bit, okay, all right. Take this one out. back over like the other ones. Bring that down, put this back in, and we've got ourselves a nice little compact, easy to ship way to do this, and all the screws are already in. Everything's pretty much assembled. All you do is just bring it back out and uh, and put the items, take the screws and put everything back in place. So I think this is gonna be, I think this is gonna be the best way to go for shipping. I'm just gonna kind of tighten everything just a little bit so it doesn't move. And there you go. And there is the frame assembled and ready for shipping. And then you just, you'll just fold everything back out. So I think this is actually going to be pretty cool. So the press notes, everything will stay in and you'll just get the frame just like that. I really don't want to take anything else apart. These weren't intended to go anyway. This is just, like I said, hold the braces in place so you can see that. But there it is. So that is the, uh, the Rapture 5 HD uh, assembled cut sanded, assembled, and ready to ship. And this is heading out to Randall today. Randall, thanks for your patience on this one, man. I greatly appreciate you for everybody else. All the frames on, on Frame It Fridays, we're gonna start doing more of these. This one, was, this one I spent a little bit more time on because I was explaining the process. Now that we, you know, we've done that, we'll just go through these faster down the road. I mean, as far as not having to stop and say, okay, well, here we are sanding here. I'm just gonna see the whole process go as it is. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always hit me up. I would ask, please, Please support us by or support, my, support uh, our efforts by subscribing to our YouTube channel. That would be a great, great uh, help. Okay, um, and uh, we'll say what's up to my kids, Ashley and Jaden. Hope you're doing well. To my wife who's working here today. Again, thanks for all your help. You're awesome. Everybody else, guys, God bless. Be safe. And most of all, go spend time with your family. You never know how much time you have left, guys. Go make the most of it. You can always fly, build, cut, design, do whatever you want later. Till next time, peace.